Hey, Marky and Jay here. Yeah, back for round two. Um, I'm allowed to mention, and it's, I think Leonardo da Vinci is Muller, or uh, Michelangelo could be his Muller, but I'm pretty sure it was Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, yeah, my family last name is written on the bottom of it. <laughs> so we can mention it anytime we want and to explain the historical context. I kind of look at it and says, our names are not, so we better do something with this sketch. You come up with an idea that's the practicum. And here's what the practicum was, the combine. <laughs> that's what it, they didn't know what to use it for, and they thought it was the most destructive thing possible. And no, they used the concept to come up with the combine. Fact. Yes, a family member of mine, a long time ago, on, was one of the team members that worked on the guy mine. True. Yes, we just don't farmland. <laughs> this was born in the Midwest. Mm, but moved out quickly and went to the East Coast. True. <laughs> but yeah, there's a reason my family's last name is written on the sector. So I guess I can actually mention, as long as I mention what the practicum was, that it became the design for the combine. <laughs> so I don't know what does. Individuals think they're gonna gig me, so to speak. Uh, leave forces. I'm not gonna put any tasks, and I said no tasks, but just reminders. Uh, remember, if you're trained the same, or almost the same, then it comes down to survival skills. Uh, Israel is phenomenal at Masada Elite Forces uh, because they had to survive all the attacks from every direction from all sides for years. And it's those survival skills that make you the best. It's your training, but there's only so far that goes. If it is equal training, then I would say it again, it's survival skills that gets you through it. That goes to the individual. Just remember that. Mm. That's what you have to decide is how good are your survival skills. Mine are way better than most. Yeah, it was brought up by local individuals over at a fast food restaurant near me. But yes, during the A family, so to speak. Um, it was connected to the Eiffel Tower and the building and financing of the Eiffel Tower. That's actually true. And it's my bloodline. <laughs> there was an adoption there because my grandfather and grandmother could not have children. But back to what I was stating. Yeah, it's us. That's uh, <laughs> why Francis contemplated making anyone connected to the Eiffel Tower will make king. And that's why it's all my accomplishments plus plus hi Disney I'd say hi I don't know why but plus uh, financial status I'll get into that in a second about three financial status uh, plus my family's lineage which is true. That's the why. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why when our family was not in history books, and that's why the context where my family, that I mentioned that my family's name is it's in history books, in fact. Um, I wanted it from a set. I want a page on me, and I'm going to get that page. I'm in history books, yes. Oh, I've accomplished. Uh, that's actually true. Um, people have told me yes, it's a new page. Uh, but also the financial empire set in stone so that great, great, great grandkids have money from what I've achieved and accomplished and create as a financial empire. Yes, and it started with Nestle's and I'll get into the last facet. Uh, Nestle said they're gonna get a birth certificate uh, not all the DNA testing sites to show history of DNA and origin, country of origin. They don't cover all the Native American tribes. 
fact <laughs> that ancestry we had done professionally, which cost thousands of dollars in the 70s. I don't know. It was gay, but yeah, we started done. Um, it we, uh, the answer was why my dad was adopted. So my mom thought it was a good idea to give him a present of finding out what his historical, with his last name origins are. Where is he from? And what's he about? And what was his family like? Just by knowing ancestry, yes. They say genealogy, professional genealogy. But yeah, we know we have Native American in us. We knew from the genealogy. And Nestle said, we're going to verse to get to prove this because there's always too many questions. It's actually in history books that there are Native American family members, one or two. Uh, historically speaking, when it talks about the Eiffel Tower, if I remember correctly, it used to. I don't know if they've changed it. I don't think they have. I guess it was going to burst it. It just thought I was asking that. Um, and so it's two races. Uh, Jewish, one race. Native American, another. I said that sneezed. Yeah, I was talking a little bit. And if one argued that point, that's one to see. Technically, argue that point. Technically, yes, there is. There's the <coughs> Jewish ethnic culture, Caucasian ethnicity, ethnicity culture. That'd be two. <laughs> yes, I have a little Caucasian to be true, but it's only a little bit, it's not tons. I wouldn't argue that point, that's what I want to say. No, I actually have two races in me. Fact. Uh, actually, the site I use announced to everyone that they can't pick up on all the tribes, and usually it just hits up at Plains and hits up as uh, Western European or Western Northern European. I think it's just Western European. Yep, add that hit up. It's okay. We can probably go with what they informed everyone. And go with so shut up and my ancestry or genealogy that was performed to fact that's it and that's all I can think of but yes that's why you'd actually mention to sketch the molar I'm pretty sure Michelangelo oh Leonardo da Vinci correct to Leonardo da Vinci it's only see the parachute and it was just my sketch, just in artist sketching. That was another parachute, another sketches they made. Uh huh. We have to give the combine. <laughs> oh, uh, the final thing I better get off. Go. Well, finish my video. <laughs> um, yeah, the final thing is yeah, it's the person in the family, historically speaking, that becomes super famous. It's mostly famous to super famous. Um, they usually they're ostracized by their family because they can't figure out how they pulled it off. That's <laughs> the one thing that just baffles them is how they pulled it off. This is Mark Day signing off. Thanks. Bye.